are Boston Terriers hyperactive dogs? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about whether or not a Boston Terrier is a low energy breed, medium energy breed, or high energy breed, as well as discuss some reasons as to why they have this extra pent up energy and what you can do about it. Coming up next. Everybody. Welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews from time to time, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of BostonTerrierSociety.com, and once again in today's video we're going to be talking about Boston Terriers and their hyperactiveness. Technically Boston Terriers are a medium energy dog breed. This is according to the American Kennel Club. So what does this mean? So a medium energy dog breed is basically a dog that at times can have bursts of energy, but at other times be pretty laid back. And that describes Bella for sure. She lays around the house all the time. And then once you get her outside, she can go crazy. And with medium energy dogs, they can be basically do almost all the other canine activities like running, playing, things of that nature but like with running, just be shorter distances. And those bursts of energy are things like zoomies. Basically, whenever Bella would do it at nine o'clock at night, we call it her witching hour, and she would just zoom from room to room going crazy and everything. It's pretty awesome if you haven't experienced it. Now, there is one thing that might be mistaken for high energy, and it's the Boston Terrier's eagerness to please. Bella being by your side, well, my Bella, being by your side trying to jump on you, love on you, might just be them trying to show affection and wanting to please their owners. Now I have surveyed a number of Boston Terrier owners as far as whether or not their Boston Terrier is hyperactive. A majority of Boston Terrier owners say that their Boston is hyperactive in some way. Keep this in mind. They are a medium energy dog breed, meaning they're gonna lay around most of the day, but then have bursts of energy other times of the day. So what leads to this pent up energy? Basically, it's just like you and I. This pent up energy comes from not doing any exercise. You need to be giving your Boston Terrier roughly 30 to 60 minutes of exercise every single day to help reduce this pent up energy. Now, some of the ways you can go ahead and do this exercise, some of the tips that I would recommend, obviously, number one is walking. You could easily do this 30 to 60 minutes. You don't have to do it all at one time. You could break it up in two 15 minute walks, which is super simple before you go to work. Take your Boston for a 15 minute walk, which is great because then it's calm throughout the entire day while you're gone. So this will help with separation anxiety as well. And then whenever you come home, take them for another 15 minute walk. There you got your 30 minutes. Some of the other activities are puzzles and toys, which are great to use. You can get some of these toys on Amazon. Emily and I have never personally used the puzzle pieces for Bella, but I've talked to other Boston Terrier owners that have used them. They love them. You kind of put treats in them and pop them out and that keeps them active throughout the day just doing things. The third thing that I think is really cool is Bostons are great for agility training. Kind of like I said, you know, they're the medium energy breed, but they have those bursts of energy. If you've seen those obstacle courses where dogs are weaving in and out. Bostons are great for that. I actually talked to somebody who does this, you know, she enters her dogs into competitions or Bostons and they thrive in this type of environment. So if you want to create some kind of makeshift obstacle course, your Boston's going to love that and it's going to help get rid of that pent up energy inside of them, making them not as hyperactive. If you're enjoying this, please be sure to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Question of the day, what type of activities do you do to help basically expel energy from your dog? Or what do you plan on doing once you get a dog for the first time? Just leave it in the comments below. This will be great and helpful for other people that are looking at this video, trying to figure out how to calm down their Boston Terrier. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure if you have any video ideas that you'd like for me to do in the future, put them in the comments below and I'll check them out. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And until next time, life is better with the Boston.